In order to make the train installation more convenient, we can first remove the protective cover on both sides. Um, that is the orange shells on both sides. First, connect the rope with one end of the steel bar and insert the steel bar from the outlet of the cooling section and transport it to the heating channel. This rope is about 15 meters long, which can facilitate the connection of the chain. If the steel bar is not long enough, you can open the heating channel door and push the steel bar forward. When the steel bar reaches the entrance of the heating channel, untie it with the rope. Then pull out this long steel bar. Now the whole rope passes through the cooling zone and the heating channel. At the outlet of the cooling zone, we first find one end of the chain, wrap this end with a short steel bar, and fix it with steel wire ropes. You can make a pull ring with steel wire rope to pull the whole train easily. Then find the correct direction of the chain. We need to align the welding joint of the chain with its forward direction. Then connect the pull ring with the rope. At this time, one person pulls the rope at the heating channel and the other person sends the chain in at the cooling zone. When the chain reaches the inlet of the heating channel, bypass the roller and pull it back to the cooling zone to form a circle. The worker can climb under the heating channel to pull the rope. Pull out. When the chain is pulled out, first untie the pull ring and take out the short bar. Then bypass the rollers according to the direction in the figure. Now, align the two ends of the chain, pass the steel wire rope through the overlapping two ends. After the wire rope is fully through the chain, we need to weld the two ends of this rope, just like the wire ropes nearby. Then the chain installation is finished, and don't forget to adjust the chain tension.